What's up, everybody? Walter Benaziak here with my regular co-host, Ian Wade and Heather Roos, and a special guest today, it's Brad Jones! Woo! Woo! I was told there'd be cereal. <laughs> and there is cereal. Yes. So today we're going to be talking about our favorite nostalgic cereals. Mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do to make this even more fun is we're going to blindfold Brad, because uh, he has some experience with trying different kinds of foods. <laughs> some well, this is going somewhere foods. completely different. <laughs> he has experience being blindfolded in the bedroom and eating boxes of cereal. <laughs> He does. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> so um, we're going to be doing that for each number, and we're also just going to be discussing why it's our favorite cereals. It's not a bird box challenge. Um, Is it, though? You know it's a food bird box challenge. It's, it's a, a bird box challenge for people who haven't seen bird box. <laughs> and have only seen the blindfolds. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so uh, Brad, go ahead and take it away, man. This is the top five nostalgic cereals. Number five. Brad, this is our number five cereal. <laughs> Walter, on. is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and try five. and let okay. me know what you think it is. It feels appropriate. I've only been awake for like an hour, so this feels really appropriate. <laughs> Excellent. Um, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, oh. I'm trying mine right now. Wow. Uh, is it uh, Lucky Charms? No. Mm -mm. Lucky Charms. Um, mm -mm. I know this taste. Is it Captain Crunch? Yeah! yeah. Captain Crunch! Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch has been pushing this cereal since 1963, and its popularity has been exceptional over the decades. It's the image and taste that keeps us all coming back. Famous for not getting soggy in milk and keeping its crunch, Cap'n Crunch has been linked to the infamous Cap'n Crunch mouth, where the roof of your mouth gets a little torn up when eating too much of the cereal. Plenty of spin-offs like Peanut Butter Crunch and Oops All Berries have been around for many years, but it's the original that we're focusing on today. Have you guys ever had the Cap'n Crunch mouth? Because yes. Where it cuts your mouth. Yeah, it yeah. cuts the roof of your That's mouth. what's happening right now. What? Oh yeah. no. That's gonna ruin the rest That's... of the show. It's worth it though. <laughs> it's like the rest of it just tastes like blood. Um, <laughs> No, but it's it's totally no. I get that. In the, that and yeah. that, I think that's what kind of gave it away for me. <laughs> yeah, like this like, is Captain oh, this Crunch. Is cutting my, like, the, oh, wait a minute, I have wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Captain Crunch. Right. <laughs> I was watching some of the old commercials yesterday, and they, they really look like those old Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoons. I think the yes. same like, yeah. production company made it and stuff. What I miss most about Captain Crunch is like the the commercials that like we grew up with like back in the 80s where like cereal commercials could have villains. Right. Yes. So they had this, I don't know if they still do the soggies anymore. Like, I don't I, think anymore. I don't but think they do. There's a lot of weird villains for Captain Crunch in those there commercials. Were. Yeah, yeah they, they would be like Saturday morning cartoon villains. You'd have these grotesque, like, milk-looking blob creatures chasing you down to, like, sog your cereal. Right. <laughs> Which is maybe a good thing, because then it wouldn't injure the kids' right. mouths as much. <laughs> but that was, that was, like, the gimmick for this, was, like, it doesn't get soggy in milk, no matter how long you leave it. And, like, natural? Probably not. But <laughs> and I it tastes say, good. I, I eat mine with almond milk, and uh, mine's pretty soggy. So. Mine's soggy, too. Mine's yeah. getting soggy. Oh, so yeah. the soggies yeah. are back. They're the here. Are back. They're back. They're a real villain. They might be more natural now, though, mm -hmm. so maybe they're not, like, just made out of cardboard. <laughs> they're they're invisible. Captain, help! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good one to start off mm -hmm. on, I think. Mm -hmm. Ready to put that blindfold back on. We'll go on number four. Sorry, guys, I'm already full. Number four. All right, try this one. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Cocoa Puffs? Yeah! yeah! Cocoa Puffs first hit the market in 1958. These chocolate flavored corn spheres haven't changed too much since their inception, except a lowering of sugar content. Usually, milk only serves as the vehicle to shovel more spoonfuls into your cereal hole, but Cocoa Puffs changed the game. Superior to its globular cousins, plain corn kicks, and fruity flavored tricks, this real Hershey's cocoa variety turns your boring old milk to sweet, sweet chocolate milk. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Are you guys all cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? I, I genuinely you are. am. Yeah. I really like it. Also, this is like one it. of the cereals where the uh, like not name brand, like the generic knockoffs, yeah. are just as good as the regular The bag ones. cereals that come in mm. giant bags? Yeah. yeah. Cocoa Roos. Cocoa Roos. <laughs> I've had Cocoa Roos before. I, they're just as, they're great. Mm -hmm. So, sure. yeah, this is a solid cereal model, right. is what I'm saying. Cocoa Puffs is one that I did always like, but I yeah. rarely 
would actually get. Like if I, when it, it's one of those series when it, whenever I ate it, it was because I was somewhere where that's what they had. Mm -hmm. if, if I was getting a chocolate cereal, my favorite was always Cocoa Pebbles. Same. Oh, Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah. Sure, sure. Cocoa Pebbles get soggy so fast. Yes, but, but the then milk. it's great because it's like eating so like a good. casserole after that. It's literally <laughs> like eating a casserole. Yeah, yes. that just makes it even better. Like. Okay. Mm. I was a really weird kid. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> um, and so we used to have cocoa pebbles and we'd wait till the milk got soggy and like it got soggy and the milk got really yeah. chocolatey and then stick it in the freezer for five minutes and then it was like ice cream. <laughs> oh, that's yes. interesting. Or like eating <laughs> cold mashed potatoes. <laughs> chocolate yes. flavor. That is clever. Chocolate mashed potatoes. Weird. That was yeah. always my go-to. Chocolate Already really chocolate sure. milk. Yeah, man. I, yeah. Just, I just remember freezing it distinctively. <laughs> I think we only did that a couple of times, and it was like, what genius is! <laughs> I don't take that long to eat it. Mine's almost gone now. I know. So <laughs> I'm getting a huge sugar rush, and we're only two cereals in. <laughs> it was like eating it with spoiled milk. That way, the texture of the milk matches the mushiness of uh, when the then cereal gets so oh, Then you can oh, blend no. in together perfectly. <laughs> this has all been messed up milk, by the way. This is all Expired milk from six months ago. Except that's, for mine! <laughs> it's probably what the Sour Patch Kids cereal tastes like. Oh. Yeah, that does not interest me. That exists. No. I haven't tried for, it yet, but I got a box of it at all. Sure. I'm waiting for Warhead cereal now. That's going to be fun. Ew. Mm. Oh. 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 I will eat the heck out of that. <laughs> Disgusting. On that note, moving on. Number three. Ready, ready? Yeah, the smell I'm, on this one's already. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to figure it out based on the smell because it's like heavy. I right. love it. All right. Let's see, let's see. Mmm. Uh. Is it that like, uh, waffle crisp? Yeah. <laughs> Waffle Crisp was first sold in 1996. The original commercial showed a group of elderly women making the cereal waffle bit by waffle bit in a factory that children tried to break into to steal the formula. The corn-based cereal has a maple syrup flavor to it. This was my personal favorite cereal as a kid. Unfortunately, it was discontinued in August of 2018. Better get it while you are still able to find it. My mom used to get Sam's Club boxes of Waffle Crisp for us. So like this is as soon as you poured it, I was like, oh memories, memories. Yeah, this this is, your... is literally like me on a Saturday morning watching cartoons yeah, right. with a giant. I've bowl never of had this before. I oh really? Waffle crisp. It's good, man. I didn't grow up with it because oh, like I think that. the cereal came out when I was much older. Like mm. I want to say this was past. Ninety six. Ninety six is when 96. it came out. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, so like it was, that would have been around when I was maybe not eating as much cereal during the morning, but I remember having this sometimes. So so when I was a kid, basically, we just had to like, just stuff waffles into a bowl and pour milk over it. <laughs> do it the, the hard way before they made it way more convenient. That sounds so sucky. <laughs> my grandma Very would sweet. have this sometimes, because my yeah. grandma would just keep a cabinet full of cereals. This would usually be oh. there, so I'd have it then. Gotcha. We oh. just always got the worst cereals for you. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would just be like the most sugary, Syrupy yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what they we got. They taste less it. mapley than they smell. Like, they smell like straight up you're shoving maple syrup in your right. face, yeah. but they don't taste like it. Do you guys remember when they were allowed to actually just put the word sugar in the titles of the cereal? Sugar Smacks? Sugar Smacks. Sugar smacks. Yeah. Is it a nostalgic cereal? It's like, I guess it is. It's discontinued. Yeah, is it really? It's discontinued. Right, that's they a big thing. Even How old it. is this? Uh, well, it was discontinued in August of 2018. So this so is Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. <laughs> That's <laughs> nothing. I should have brought that 30-year-old Batman cereal. Oh, I got it. <laughs> next time, next yeah. time. <laughs> um, this is this is a good one to put right in the middle of the list. I think I like it, mm -hmm. and it makes the the uh, milk kind of taste a little syrupy too. It does. That's right. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. Mm. When it's not taste like buttery crackers for my palate, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. I'm waiting for just a delicious bowl of chili. It's <laughs> <laughs> not chili. Really Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's no beans. Um, Weirdly oh. enough, there is. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> uh, hmm. Man. Uh, mm. Is this a Pop Tart Crunch? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it. Uh, That's a real thing. Oh, yeah. It is. Is that, it? That's a real thing. Oh, my um, gosh. Four. These are less sweet than I remember. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm number two, on this Number two one. is oh, stuffing them. Um, the last time I had these, I ate them with eggnog. 
Is it Cookie Crisp? Yeah! Yeah! Cookie Crisp was originally introduced in 1977. 20 years later, General Mills bought the trademark and changed the recipe, much to the dismay of diehard fans. Personally, I think the most memorable part of this cereal is some of the advertising. Growing up in the 90s, it was impossible to avoid the howl of Cookie Crisp from Chip the Dog. Cookie Crisp wasn't what I got a lot when I was younger because I just like softer cookies instead of like the mini Chips Ahoy. Right, right, right. Um, They're less uniform than I expected. Mm -hmm. I don't remember these, I guess. I definitely had these when I was little, but um, I don't remember them much. Also, don't eat them with eggnog, by the way. <laughs> don't eat them with Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. It's really not. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Which mascots of Cookie Crisp did you guys grow up with? The dog. Oh, yeah, the dog. Or whatever. The, yeah. Well, it was a robber. Was, there was a guy. There was a robber right. who would steal. That, that's the, what I. Yes. He was a dog, yes. right? Oh. Yeah. There was. But he had a, now there's a. He wolf. was by himself for a little while, mm -hmm. and then he got a sidekick, and it was a sidekick who started the Cookie yeah. Crisp mm -hmm. thing. There was. I remember that one. Yeah. Cookie Cop and Cookie Crook. Yeah, I remember yes. that. That's what I grew up with. Yes, sure, sure. That's because it needed. It, cool. it, it, it was a cereal that needed its own hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're basically eating cookies for breakfast and getting away with murder here. They had to change it when some kid got 20 years for actually trying to steal a box. <laughs> and now they have the wolf, so I mean, that's... Is it cool. still the wolf? It's still the wolf. Yeah, yeah, it's still the wolf. I have so. to say, these are really nice after this really sweet waffle crisp. I'm surprised they haven't tried it with like different kinds of cookies, like a peanut butter chip cookie or... Oh, thin meat. There was, um... Yeah, yeah, oatmeal raisin. I remember there being like a sprinkle <laughs> one for... Holidays, like oh, a Christmas. I, I thought I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. A Internet Christmas cookie cereal. Like, that's what I thought about. I, I thought yeah. I remember that, like seeing it at least having different colors, and it was I like definitely sprinkles had the instead holiday of ones, so yeah. I think you're right. instead of like chocolate chips. It was like sprinkles. It probably is, because like I mean, there's a donut cereal now, so yeah. <laughs> nothing would surprise me. And the number one best nostalgic cereal is. Sugar crash hard after <laughs> breakfast. Yeah. Um. We'll play the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire music. Was it the French toast? Uh, Crunch. Yes! Yay! It is? Oh, nice! <laughs> there aren't many things more 90s than French Toast Crunch. An offshoot of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it was introduced in 1995 and became very popular. It was discontinued in the United States in 2006, but by popular demand, was revived in 2014 and is still available in limited capacity. I haven't eaten any in years, and I'm ecstatic to finally reacquaint this cereal with my taste buds. You're still giving me old poison cereal? <laughs> <laughs> no, this... This is the new relaunched version of it. So mm. I think it's the same um, recipe and everything, but like in the 90s, this was a big deal, man. Yeah. Like everyone loved French Toast Crunch. Yes. Like I was like a fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch back in the day. Mm. And when they came out with this, I was like, I'll try this. I like mm -hmm. French Toast. Mm -hmm. And then I just went crazy for it. Yeah. All my cousins mm -hmm. loved it. A lot of my friends always talked about French Toast Crunch when they talked about uh, cereal. So yeah. yeah this, uh, this brings me back for sure. What a simpler time. <laughs> when you talked with all your friends about the cereal. Yeah, second grade. For, it, you know, what in a the simpler 90, grade, something like that. In the 90s, we loved two things. French Toast Crunch and Ace of Base. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I like the theory that, because it was still Wendell the Chef on this, right? On the box. That the two other chefs uh, from the older Cinnamon Toast Crunch boxes, who later they disappeared, no one knows what happened could possibly have been made and turned into French Toast Crunch. <laughs> it's one of those cereals like Cinnamon Toast Crunch that, trans that transitions pretty well into like those cereal bar forms that they make. Mm -hmm. right. uh, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch does where I'll okay, get cereal on the go. Yes, <laughs> like yeah. a gr cereal granola bar. bar version of a cereal. I remember oh. that it was like they had like they had milk, a milk powder. layer on yeah. the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen those. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, the milk is good. Yeah. More, more of that milk. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're so enthusiastic. I feel energized. The chocolate is milk is better, but it, it might I mean, be all the sugar in the salad. Yeah. <laughs> I feel energized too, but in a, I might have a heart attack. Right. In a <laughs> no way. Yeah, uh. I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right now. This is great. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> is this why we love childhood? Is this why everyone loved childhood? Because they were just so high, high on sugar. Yeah, yeah. probably. Mm. It's the only thing that got me up in the morning when I was <laughs> right. a kid. Anyway. My heart's beating so fast right, right now. Yeah, we just ate a lot, of, a lot of cereal here. I tried to keep it, you know, like not too much in mind for the other ones because I really wanted this French toast crunch. Honestly, mm. solid. Yeah, That's you didn't grow up with them. So I yeah. did not. Yeah, you're I'm a right. fan. I like them. As an adult, I get it, man. Yeah. Mm. Well, and I switched over for this one to the uh, almond milk that mm. Ayana was having, mm. and the vanilla flavors of the almond milk really vanilla really almond milk. Did it I recommend the French toast. It, it, it did it enhance the French toastiness of mm. it. Mm. Yes. So you know, try it with some vanilla almond milk. Everyone. It's un <laughs> unsweetened <laughs> vanilla almond milk. You do not need more sugar in your cereal. And try it with a. But half if you a do, just do a spoonful of granulated <laughs> sugar and stir it in. Half a stick of butter cut in and throw in there. <laughs> some maple syrup. Now we're talking. <laughs> hilarious if I got in here and it just really threw me off and like number one was like cream of wheat. <laughs> like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> Get you some grape nuts. Uh, <laughs> cocoa <shit>. wheats. <laughs> we tricked you with something. Like, are these Doritos? Things. What is this? It's like a bowl of grits. <laughs> Grits For next good. time, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Top five reasons grits are the best breakfast. <laughs> Sponsored by Waffle House. <laughs> well, with you guys, leave some uh, comments about what are some of your favorite cereals from back in the day, or what do you still eat? I think a lot of kids that are now grown up and maybe around our age still eat cereal a lot. I feel like that's kind of a throwback Ooh. thing that people still do. Yeah. And if you're my dad, you could be a baby boomer and still eat cereal <laughs> in a popcorn bowl. So go ahead and try that maybe. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a lot of fun. Brad, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah. Totally. We're gonna do thank this you. again. Maybe we'll do like top five best sodas or something yeah. next time. I'm down. Change it up. Yeah. Something I'm totally new totally and different. Down. This was really fun. Well, thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll uh, check back next week for a brand new episode of Top Five. Uh, you can check us all out on the social medias. Uh, Heather, where are you at? Um, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, or Twitch, where I stream on Wednesday nights. I am. Where are you at? I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know. You know all that. We have lower yeah, thirds. We got lower um, for that. Okay, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can check me out. Brad, I mean, I'm sure everyone watching this video already knows, but if you want to know. <laughs> you can subscribe to me at youtube.com slash Stone Gremlin Productions. Follow us on Facebook at The Cinema Snob and Instagram at The Cinema Snob and Facebook, facebook.com slash The Cinema Snob. And Brad tries. That's some great stuff, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Brad my tries. stomach loves me for that. <laughs> <laughs> the One Chip Challenge video is one of my favorites. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching.